melatonin essentially tells the brain and the body when it's day and when it's night. And with that, when it's time to sleep, when it's time to wake. And therefore, that's why melatonin helps with the timing of the onset of sleep. But it doesn't really help with the generation of sleep itself. And this is why we'll come on to what those studies of supplementation have taught us. So and it tells the rest of my brain and body, it's time to go to sleep. It, it perhaps even aids with the transition to sleep. But it's not going to, for instance, ensure the overall structure of sleep or um, it's not the conductor that's guiding the sleep orchestra, so to speak, throughout the entire night. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's more a, like the, um, the, the people that essentially take you to your seat and sit you down and give you your program. Right, right? exactly. Okay, yeah, right, sort of the, right. the, the, the far um, less sophisticated analogy I have is, um, you know, melatonin is like the starting official at the 100 meter race in the Olympics. That's a better analogy. It call, yeah. calls all of the, the sleep races to the line and it begins the great sleep race. Yeah, better but it doesn't analogy, by the way, coming no, no, from no, no, the sleep no, no, researcher no. of all people. No, no, uh, the, uh, but it doesn't <laughs> participate in the race itself.